Hi, welcome to the handover of the Rover Team 696 2023 model on a Ford. Like all typical Fords, you need to use the key to open the bonnet, so you go left to unlock it and right to unhitch it. Your mirrors all fold in when you're parked up. Come around this side here in the passenger the driver's side and you have your water infill. You have your gas locker for your two six kilogram gas bottles. Your electric hookup point. And then just under here you'll see this handle here. And that's for dumping your waste water. And you'll see it comes out of that wee um, ending at the end there. So that's how you empty your waste water. Small garage door this side. Four bike bike rack. Reverse camera, rear view camera. And then on this side you have the larger of your door openings. It's got a spring to stop it catching in the wind. Here you have for adjusting the height of a bed. So you can make it go up or you can make it go down. And it's operated from this wee switch here. And then you can see it moving up. And then that gives you the biggest opening in your garage area for whatever you want to keep. The arms for your bike rack, your jack, wheel brace, your tow and eye, your hookup cable, your carpets, your light, your 240 volt socket in here. Inside there is your boiler drain. If I can just yeah, show you it. So you see that wee blue lever there? So it's like a boiler drain, then down the side of it. There's a wee blue dot. Temperature drops below three degrees, that wee button will pop out and that lever there will turn and it'll drop all your water just to save it getting frost protection. It's got a heating vent in here so if you keep heating on it when you've got it parked up at the house then that saves you any problems with frost. Your boiler flew this side. Don't get it blocked. Your toilet cassette simply pull it, leave it, pull it out, take it to the septic tank, turn it around, empty the nozzle, empty it down the septic tank, make sure it's locked back into place. You need to open the passenger door to access your filler and your add blow down below it. Inside the van, to the left hand side you have your fifth travel seat, your other two travel seats here, so it's five belts, five berth. Your table, simply move it with, on this up here, that moves it. And this lever at the bottom here, if you press that and press firmly in the middle, that drops your table down to make the fifth bed in this area. A couple USB slots on the wall, your duck down bed in the lounge. So we'll be pressing the button. You have a net here to save anybody rolling out and it's all the way around. And if you're not going to use it for any length of time, you're going to pack it up, say for a few weeks. Always leave a hand width at the top just to let the bed circulate and save any condensation. Your control panel is here, your TV bracket is here, your power source is your TV bracket, 12 volts, 240 volts. Up here, unlock your screen. So, this operates your switches for your lights, and your water pump. So, your awning light, should you put an awning or an outdoor light, that puts your lights on inside. And then, underneath these cabinets, it's touch control. If you see the wee blue dot there, that's where you touch. That puts your lights on on all your under panels. Come back to the main bit. So room climates for your heating. So you go heating, you would set how hot you want it and how you're going to power it, whether you're going to use 
gas or are they going to use electric? Just remember to turn it off and it says it coming up with that wee error. Um, your hot water is that same. Turn on your hot water, you've got 40 degrees for washing your hands, 60 degrees for a shower, 70 degrees for two showers or a long shower. And again, down here, electricity or gas, how you're going to power it. And over here, you can connect it to your phone using the Blue Net, uh, Bluetooth iNet Axe app. And you're sitting here, change the language, change the brightness, do a factory reset. If you ever need to calibrate it, you click chat to calibrate it. So we'll do a wee reset and we'll reset all the wee errors. Your fridge. Hold that button on there that turns on and hold this middle button here and you'll see it flashing here. Once it's flashing here, you go through the arrows, you'll see it on automatic, it'll automatically detect the best power source. That's your electric hookup, that's your leisure battery, and that there is gas. So if you keep it on automatic, it'll, it'll try and pick the best signal for you automatically. Hold that again and it comes over here to tell you how cold or how hot you need it. So just again set that and then that's your temperature set. Inside your fridge you have your decent sized freezer, your cool box at the bottom. This door here closes to separate your living area from your bedroom area. Three ring gas burner. Oven grill, so left or oven, right for grill. Wash hand basin. Again, if you're going to park it up, put your taps up and drain it so you don't get any frost damage or anything goes wrong with it. Into the bedroom area, you've got your shower to the left hand side. Always make sure your doors are secure. We're traveling, don't want to get damaged. You see that door there shuts off to separate you. Your toilet. Your cassette full indicator, your flush, and on the front of it, a wee grey lever, which opens and closes the toilet cassette. Good habit, you always get in the closet when you're not using it. Again, keep your tap up when you've drained it. Couple of wee storage bits. Light switch. The bed, as you can see, we've put the bed up, so the bed's at its highest position. So that's why you've got a couple of wee steps either side, hanging wardrobe both sides two overhead cabinets and reading lights and again you've got the wee touch button on your overhead light underneath here come on this wee bit of storage and the uh, cushions for making up your fifth bed in the middle there but good wee bits of storage in there and I look forward to seeing you any further questions I'll speak to you on Saturday